Now I'd like to open the discussion among the members of the committee. Representative Passy, would you like to begin? Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. First of all, I'd like to thank Dr. Largo for her interesting presentation. I personally agree that we should study the potential of undersea resources. However, I think it's much too early to consider making a large investment now. We need more information about whether mineral and energy resources are most easily obtained, especially in the waters near our coasts. We should spend at least five more years developing detailed maps of the sea floor. Only then should we start thinking about developing actual equipment for recovering those resources. Thank you, Mr. Passy. Next, Representative Schoener. I would like to ask Dr. Lago a question: Who owns the rights to valuable resources found beneath international waters? Even if we were to develop the technology to collect those resources, would we have the right to keep them? In 1994, the United Nations created an organization called the International Seabed Authority. That organization is now developing guidelines to regulate deep sea mining in international waters. Has everyone accepted the jurisdiction of the organization? I mean, do all the nations in the UN recognize its authority? Well, I mean, I don't have the latest numbers, but most countries do. Everyone in our region does. But yes, it's true that some countries still don't recognize it. Hmm. <clears throat> it seems to me that without a strong agreement accepted by everyone, there's a danger of serious conflict. We could be asking for trouble. Thank you, Mr. Schoener. Finally, Representative Acklight. It concerns me that not one speaker has mentioned the environmental impact of deep sea mining. Those hydrothermal vents. Produce rare and amazing biological systems. There are hundreds of species of bacteria and other living things that were completely unknown just a few years ago. If we dig up the floor around those vents, we'll destroy those systems before we have a chance to study them, before we even know what we're destroying. We have no idea what the impact might be, and those nodule fields too. It took millions of years for them to form. Once they're cleared away, they'll be gone forever. Mr. Chairperson, if I may, go ahead, Dr. Lago. Representative Acklight is correct that deep sea mining will have some effect on the environment, but I'm confident that we can minimise that impact by using sound techniques and good technology. What's even more important, though, is what's happening right here on land. Our people need jobs. And they can have them if we really commit ourselves to developing these deep sea resources. Thank you, Dr. Lago. I'm afraid we're now out of time. We'll continue our discussion at our next meeting in April.